a good guy too. He's one of the nicest guys too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I started playing again in 2010. What are you saying? So it's been 10 years. What are you saying? What's that? What are you saying? Saying how shitty you are as a pitcher. No, as a hitter right now. Pitch is decent today. Had a boy, good shot. Oh, here you go. Good shot. Took his glove off. I played. I played D3 ball. Although, uh, ball. Uh, and then I went, graduated, went in the Navy. So I hit backwards. Where was I? I would have saved a lot. Well, I mean, I, I would have saved a lot of money if I would have done it the other way around. Yeah, for sure. But, I mean. That's the hardest thing I've No, I got out and, and my degree, I went, went to school for atmospheric science for meteorology. And then um, a Navy recruiter recruited me to go in. Shut up, man. <laughs> that was fun, and then I got out, got married, and got fat. No, I was in a car accident. Got fat. You got hurt pretty bad. Yeah, I didn't think it was right there, right there, right there. Uh, I was in a coma for two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember any of it? I remember looking into her eyes and then waking up two and a half weeks later. Wow, man. Like she, I was going straight through an intersection, and she, I was driving a Geo, Geo, uh, Geo Storm. I love that car. Oh, oh, straight. She's turning around right in front of me. She hit me like that. And, and she was driving on this really old caravan, pretty much all steel with like nine tons. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I had to get airlifted. She was fine. Um, but yeah, about a year ago. What was that? That was in 90, 99, right? Yeah. A lot of rehab back? Yeah, well, April yeah. 5th, 99. That's what I just had to take my pills for. I still take pills and stuff. Yeah. I'm addicted smart. to tramadol. I'm, it's, it's def I'm definitely addicted to it now. So. It's, a, it's a very mild... Uh, no, it's a... Uh, open, very mild. Very mild. But it's enough that I have an addiction to it. And I know I do. Yeah. But, but it's not something that's going to be like an oh, yeah. yeah. It's not strong. You know, I think I got that when I like broke a pinky toe. Mm -hmm. I can't sleep without it. Really? Yeah. It knocks you out though? It gets me really wired mm -hmm. first. And then about two hours later, I can't sleep without it. Yeah. So I'll take it about three hours before I go to bed. Okay. Like my wife knows, like right now, can't stop talking. She knows when I take it. You stick your pills in you. <laughs> you just take him around eight, nine o'clock. He's got like the perfect wife. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I, I he, he, he he doesn't have to work. Takes care of kids, and she does work, housework yeah. too. So, yeah. so I'm just messing with them huh. and getting in their heads, okay. making them think I'm I'm protesting them. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Okay. That's what I'm up here. Okay. You want to protest? No, don't protest. Hey. Oh, what up, LaRue? Even with their uh, four best players, they still didn't have a chance against us. That team. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> if we play the way we just did, absolutely. No, I'm not, I'm not saying either of these teams. I'm saying the team we just played. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They said, I heard it. They said they are missing I was on the parking lot. They're four best players. And I was like, Where? The guy with the dog wasn't here. Yeah. That was their best player. <laughs> the emotional dog. I don't understand yeah, that person. I'm not going to lie. My wife. I mean, I love my cat, but I, I, mean, I don't need it emotionally. I love my wife more. Who did you guys just play? We played. Um, Wild Goose? Uh, no, we oh. played Wild Horse. Yeah, Wild, Wild Goose. Goose. Wild Goose. Oh. What's going on with Broncos over there? Broncos. Bronco? Yeah, that's not Broncos. Okay, just down here. Three. From Monday night, they have four players that aren't there. They weren't there. Well, I mean, <laughs> Nard, the guy Nardogs. who just hit the home run, the guy who says a roller on his back, the guy who hit in front of the home run. Those, all three of those are not, and then they're home run. There's four of my notes. I was like, they were not on the team Monday. That, that chair's nice. It rocks. Have fun. <laughs> All right, so I don't think Alan's coming, so you're staying in. He says, just keep time. So I'm fine with that. He's figured, yeah, I figured, that, figured that'd be the case. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, buddy. Okay. Hey, hey, buddy. Don't, don't matter where it goes. I'm like, I want time anyway. I don't want yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I, I said, I don't care. I can't. Like, I want to play, but I can't pay. Yeah, you, you need freaking arm. <laughs> you, so you, your right dumb now. ass needs to stay away. My freaking arm hurts so bad. I can't even hold, can't pick up the balls. I, m I met my wife when she was 19. Wow. She was a sophomore at Penn State. Nice. We are. Penn State. Okay. So you're at Penn State as well? Yeah, I graduated in 98.
graduated. Are you here though? No, I'm from uh, Jersey, South Jersey. I've been here longer than anywhere else. Take one, take one. Uh, now I'm a Texan. We lived in State College for two and a half years. Yeah. I didn't go to Penn State, but yeah. I pretty much went to Penn State. Um, Anybody that's married to a Penn State or went to Penn State. That's right. Yeah. So she was so sheltered. Her longest relationship for me was like four months. Wow. She was 19, knew nothing. And I'm tell I everybody's like, how did you get your wife? Tom took a I was like, I'm, I, I, I told him it's true. I said, Stockholm Syndrome's a thing, man. It's a thing. It works. She had no idea. I met my wife at Shepard College. Did you? Um, so I was her boss at Don Pablo's back in the day. Back in the day. That's not my favorite man. No, I mean, that's why it's not around anymore either. That's, that was my, I was, that was all, that, I met her when I was in my rehab. My, uh, her. I was working like one day a week, three hours. <laughs> it was. And I wrote the schedule and I made her schedule match my schedule. She hated me the first two months we dated. I didn't hate you, I just wasn't sure. Because you're so much older. I'm six years older than she is. I'm 25, she's 19. I'm five months excited. Hell yeah. Our first date was in Niagara Falls. Nice. Beauty. I love Niagara. What did her parents say? Okay, first date is actually really funny. First date, it, it's just, what, it just happened. If it happened. I, I go up to her house and I go to pick her up to go to Niagara Falls. Yeah. It's her best friend's 19th birthday in Niagara Falls, <laughs> drinking age is 19, in Canada. I don't know if it still is, but it was then. So I get out to go, you know, get the door, and as I'm walking up, this giant, I thought he was up. giant, red-faced, red-headed monster comes storming out the door, and I'm like, oh, fuck, that's her dad. And I go up, nice and shot, hi, I'm Tom, I'm here to pick up, uh, uh, Chrissy, she's inside. Oh, fuck, that was a great first impression. Come to find out later, after the first date, that their boat at their cottage, where my mother-in-law lives now, was floating away off their dock. And it's a two and a half hour drive. To his so he was rushing to get his boat, two and a half hours away. He wanted none to do with me. He did not care one bit about me. But he was he's so, hey, in you so intimidating. That was, that was her dad. And she's an only child. I know that feeling. So, so that was fun. Opposite, Tom. She brought me home, and they were like, "Oh, take her. We're about to get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> Please take her now." And I was like, "What? What? What just happened?" Seven years later, they finally get divorced, and we're we we're, we're living together. But and then she went in her uh, her junior year because I met her. Uh, it was Easter Sunday. Um, she finished her sophomore year and her junior year, she spent eight months in Italy studying abroad. Yeah, so good. Good. yeah exactly. It's a good game. Hey, the team we play was good. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> they, said, got a good they said they were missing their top four players and they couldn't beat us. Who? Who? I think he's trying to get your hands. Who's trying? Hey, uh, he's not good. Hey, uh, Do what? No, no, them, not Danny. Oh, I was like, why would Danny do this? Oh, I'd protest against yeah, McGee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd protest against McGee all day. Oh, no, man. McGee just crushed the ball, man. Hey, Scotty. You got back, you got back, back control? No? Backspin, right? 